Good day to you all. Let me show you today with Fun Media how I did the Ghostbuster Laser Proton. So it's already done. You've seen the video. I'm going to show you how I did that today with Pinnacle Studio 24 Ultimate. So, of course, this is not a kind of software where you will find all the special effect that you need but today in 2020 there's a way to do pretty much everything if you get a bit of knowledge so let me start with what i have in my bin so here you can see i got already a proton laser it's already done actually you can find those pretty much everywhere online download it it's free to use so that's pretty easy it's it's not easy like okay I'm gonna put that on the video and that's it there's a little bit of work to do to make it on in your video what I will show you so here's that's the one I've, I've used that's one I found I found that one too there's no sound, it's only the little effect. They're all pretty cool actually. I found that too that you've seen in the video. Didn't use that one, which which was pretty cool. But that's not the one I've used. I used this trap. So this one you can find it on, on YouTube. There's some free to use stuff. I really like when it's green screen, it's lot easier to use this is the ghost that I've used those from the YouTube channel is free to use that's my ghost so there's a couple just to show you that I haven't used like when I say there's tons of things that you can use from online just look when it's no copyright and everything free to use it's pretty cool that's a ghost that I haven't used of course there is Slimer which would have been really really cool but this little Slimer is moving way too much it would, it would have been really cool but just a bit longer so yeah didn't use that one this time even if my daughter really 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 liked that little green guy okay so now I got all my layers here the other effect ghost laser main ghost town music everything there's a lot going on here so I'll, I will go right away on the laser you can see it here you can see it's different from what you see here that's like the basic now I gotta move that one into that one so I'll double click on it all right so first the properties you can see those points, their keyframe. So this is because my daughter is moving a lot. She's moving this little gun here like that, up and down and up and down. So if you want to make it like looking good, you got to follow it frame by frame by frame by frame, one by one by one. See? And just adjust your little thing with this button here see so what I was doing moving it you go to properties and you move it one by one by one by one of course it comes with a black screen see everything here so that's for the properties now in the effect the luma here I just got out the black adjust it to make the black disappear with the luma key effect so I started with that actually get get down 
the black effect then go into properties and go with this little thing here scale mode and one by one by one adjusting the movement so same thing with that one here see double click on it exact same thing go with the effect luma key and then adjusting one by one all the keyframe see you see this little thing here it's moving so it's actually pretty easy but just a bit long to do because frame by frame it's probably the longest thing that you can do in editing when you have to do that but anyway I mean you already know that anyway so just a bit more stuff I uh, here I added this little proton ball exact same thing I did like frame by frame following the ghost uh, for that one so you got my little ghost is here this is my light the little light it's a point PNG that I did with uh, little software you can do it with paint you can do it with Photoshop double click on it so with that one of course there's a bit of properties but with the effect because it, it was just a triangle like that doop, doop, just a normal triangle so I had a water wave in it to give it a little effect a bit of glow a bit of shadow of course take uh, it was a, a triangle but all the rest was green so I had a key color green to take out all the green so it's very 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 easy to do it like that bit of sound and yeah that's the little trap that you saw so the exact same thing with the trap that I did with all the rest take take out all the black or green screen if you find one that's with a green screen and every time in the software that you see a little pink line like there's a pink line here there's a pink line here 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 like there's no pink line here every time there's a pink line or this little dash yellow dash those are effect so as you can see there's tons of effect it's not just like getting something and put it in here finding it on online and download it and put it in your video after that you gotta work on it major thing taking out the color like you can see here once again you got a black color that I took off reposition the thing get your keyframe done and that's it do your render and then you'll have a great video after that you put your music and that's it so I hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe I'll do more video and uh, we'll talk to you next time